Namaste, everyone. This is Sir June. Welcome to my channel. So our lesson for today, class, will be all about multiples. So before we'll start our lesson, class, I will tell you first the learning outcomes of this lesson. So the first one, class, students so should know how to list the multiple of a whole number. Second. Find out if a number is a multiple of another number. The third learning outcome class is students should know how to relate factors and multiples. And the last one is identify multiples of 2, 5, and 10. Okay, on this slide now class teaches us on how to find multiples of a whole number. So as you see here, we have here picture of the the number to to help us understand of multiple so now here as you see in the first picture one times three equals three then the other one two times three equals six three times three equals nine and the last one is four times three equals twelve so take note class as you see here three 6, 9, and 12 are multiples of 3. So, if we are going to give more the factors of 3, so we can give like 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, so 21, 24, so on and so forth. So, we can give actually multi um, many multiples of 3. So, Let's now proceed on the next slide. Okay, so now here, as you see in the slide, so relating factors and multiples. So now here, 12 can be divided by 3 exactly. So 12 is a multiple of 3. So is 3 a factor of 12? So now here, as you see on the, um, to answer the question, we have here, um, Solution to prove that if 3 is a factor of 12. So 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. 12 minus 3, and uh, 12 minus 12 equals 0. So, therefore, class, 3 is a factor of 12. And multiples of 3 can be divided by 3 exactly. So multiples of 3 have 3 as a factor. Then letter B. 23 cannot be divided by 3 exactly. 23 is not a multiple of 3. 3 is not a factor of 3. Look at here. 23. Let us see here why, why 3 is not a factor of 23. So look at this. 23 divided by 3 equals 6. 6 times 3 equals 18. So 23 minus 18 equals 5. So this solution now proves that this 3 is not a factor of 23 simply because there is extra number or remainder. Because if there is remainder, meaning to say that divisor is not a factor of the dividend. So, now let's continue. Okay, look at now on the slide class. So, let us learn more on the multiples. So, now as you see here in the table... So we have here in the chart, table or chart, so the multiples of 3 are circled and the multiples of 5 are red. So you see here, these are circled, these are color red, and now the numbers that are both circled and in red are multiples of 10. So look at here class. So these are numbers circled, red, and both red and circled. So these are multiple of 10. So let us read the numbers in circle. So 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. So up to year 100. So the, these are multiples of 2. And the multiples of 5 are, start from 5, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Now, the multiple of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now, listen class. 
When we say multiple, the other term of multiple is skip counting. So if we're going to give now the first five multiples of two are two, four, six, eight, ten. So those are the first five multiple of two. So just very easy. When we say multiples, that means skip counting. So if you are if you are if you memorize already how to do skip counting, skip counting by two, by three, by four, five, six, just like that. Okay? So don't be confused that multiples is just the same with skip counting. So that's all for today's class. So thank you so much for watching class. Hope you learned a lot from this video tutorial. Stay safe and healthy. God bless. Bye.